Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. In today's video, I want to talk about memory addressing on the 8088 processor. Uh, also applies to the 8086 processor. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps with YouTube. Um, my previous video, I did the Hello World uh, in assembly for the 8088. And today I want to give a little bit more background on how memory is addressed. So if you do not have a familiarization with assembly code with the 8086 family, I should say, uh, processors, this is a good tutorial for you. If you already understand it, this will just be a good review if you want to watch the video. So I've got a couple of physical representations here. I've got an 8088 and I also have a V20, which is a pin compatible version of that uh, neck made. Uh, it'll run um, 186 code as well. Uh, and they do run a little bit faster because of the way they're built internally. So on the, the chip here, physically speaking, you have 20 address uh, pins starting probably about here. Address zero goes up to address 14, corner pins of ground. Then down the other side, the other corner pins, five volt. And then address 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 on that side. So that's physically speaking, you have 20 address pins. So I kind of made some notes here. I've got a 20 bit address. So starting at A0 to A19, kind of broke it up into fours, which gives you in hexadecimal uh, five Fs. The registers internal to the chip are 16 bit and broke them down 16, 16 digits, four Fs. So the way this is done is through a process of segment and offset. So you've got segments, you've got the code segment, you've got the stack segment, you've got the data segment, and you have the extra segment. And this is always written out like this with colons to, to denote the uh, segment. And then your offset, depending on the segment, it depends on what's used. So the code segment is used with the instruction pointer. Stack segment is used with the stack pointer and base pointer. Now I'm gonna probably forget a few here, but the data segment is your default data segment. It's used with uh, BX. You also have a DI and an SI, and these are used with the data segment and the extra segment for data transfers. Try to think here if I forgot a few. I know you've got your uh, flags segment, which is kind of its own, own segment there. Let's see if we count these out. Anyway, I'll probably remember here in a minute, but those are your, your main segments used for memory addressing. You do have, this is why it looks uh, like I'm missing a few, the AX, uh, we already got BX, so CX and DX. And these are used for, these are not used for uh, addressing. Um, so what happens is, let's say you have in hexadecimal, of course, an address in your, or your code, let's go, let's go code segment. Let's just say it equals, so we'll make it real easy. Uh, one, zero, zero, zero. We'll put our colon in there and our instruction pointer, we'll make it like, like we're addressing a, a, a com file. So one, uh, zero, one. So that's how it would be written out. Um, let's throw in some letters so that you realize it, or to understand it's a, um, hexadecimal. So let's do your video segment, which is typically for uh, text is B800 and we'll just go 000. So now the way you interpret that in from two 16-bit numbers to a 20-bit is your segment. So here you would go 1000 and underneath we write 100 and you add them together. So there's an extra zero added to that. So it's shifted uh, four bits. 
And so you would add that up as zero, like so. And that makes your 20-bit address. Same with your video. I mean, this one's real easy to figure out. It just becomes B8000. Um, so when your processor first starts up, your code segment will be F, 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 and your instruction pointer is 0, 0, 0, which obviously equals F, 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 0 in when it uh, adds it up for your 20-bit address. Um, here's something to think about. Uh, this is maybe get a little off topic, but as your instru instruction pointer increments up for your next instruction would be 1, 2, 3, and so on. Eventually, you're going to get to address F, 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 F. And that would be simply, and then your uh, segment being F, 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 and your offset being 0, 0, F. What happens when this turns into 1, 0? Now, you actually, it rolls over. So, if I can do my math right here, your memory address now will become, so you've got F, 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 zero, with a one, zero, zero underneath to add up. So you carry like so. So you can actually, the, the point of that is you can actually go over the top of your 20-bit address and you just roll over. So anyway, what it really comes down to is you can address quite a different uh, number of memory locations using your segment offset, but you can also express it in different um, terms as well. Take your, your video segment here. So you could go, keep in mind, this would not be CS and IP. This would be like your, your uh, data segment and your BX here. You could put your data segment equaling B000 and your BX equaling um, 8000. And when those add up, it would also add up to that. So your segment, it doesn't have to be a clean number, like a, a straight B or a C. It can have other digits in there. I mean, and I'll show that here on the computer here uh, in a minute, how most of the time this is not even uh, a straightforward number. So hopefully that made sense. Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. But that's the basics of how you take a 16-bit register to make 20-bit uh, addresses. All right, so booted up here. This is in DOSBox. Um, so the video quality probably just changed a whole bunch. So we're going to look at the hello world that I did in my last video, but we're going to look at it in debug. Um, debug is a wonderful tool, especially if you're trying to learn assembly and you want to see how things are put together. So we'll hit R, which shows our registers. Now something I should mention is almost every number, if not all numbers in debug are hexadecimal. So um, that's something I didn't specify in my last video. Um, as you can see, across the top row, you got your AX, BX, CX, DX. And CX is uh, listed as 2, 3, which is hexadecimal, and that's your file size. Um, then you've got your stack pointer, base pointer, uh, SIDI. I always want to say source index and destination index. I, I don't know if I'm backwards, but that's what I always want to say. And then you've got your data segment. As you can see, that's 15FA. So as I say on the paper, we don't always see good, clean, round numbers as your segment. And these segments, uh, I should specify, are 64K uh, segments. So you're limited within your segment only 64k of uh, addresses and to get out of that 64k you have to use a different offset or sorry a different segment with your offset which you can do in assembly there's no 
limitations in DOS, you can pretty much address any part of code or data that you want, uh, which you can crash your system if you want. So anyway, you've got your extra segment, your stack segment, and your code segment. As you can see, a comp file, they do come in default all the same. Um, when I wrote my Hello World, I did set my data segment uh, to be the same as the code segment, which was redundant. Uh, but that's okay, because usually when I write a lot of code, you've moved your data segment around a lot, and so I never assume the value. But we did assume our value of our stack segment. Um, anyway, so you got your instruction pointer, which on a com file always starts at 100. Now, it's, that's actually 256 in hexadecimal over the decimal. And then those other digit numbers you see, the NV, UP, EI, PL, NZ, NA, PO, and NC, those should be your flags. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how those interpret out, but anyway, you've got your, uh, CX, uh, zero FF you see down there says move. So that's your first code at, uh, your, and it shows you right there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and unassemble this. So as you can see, it's listed there, address offset, uh, with a colon and it's grabbing the uh, shows the first line of code is CX to 000F, and we move our AX to the code segment, set our data segment, and then we set our BX, which is our indexing register, to 114, and then we set AH to E0, and move the value at the at 14, which you can go down further, and you can see that it says it's a 48. And it does interpret it to code, but really all that is is an H. And then we increment by BX by 1, so we can grab our next letter and interrupt 10. Uh, it's actually interrupt 16 in decimal. And then we loop uh, CX number of times. So that's how we're seeing this in the bug on our uh, segment and our offset and our, how our program is laid out in there. So I'm going to quit this and then we will just hit edit real quick. Hello.asm and you can see this is how it's written for our assembler which makes a lot more sense. So you got that 09 by doing the math on end of message to message. There's our straightforward AXCS BX to the message location then we run our loop. So, anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, again, didn't confuse you guys too much on how segment and offset is used to address memory. So, if you liked my video, uh, like I said, please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.